a wonderful afternoon from College Park, Maryland, 83, Michigan, 70. Big Ten champions at last. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Bruce Posner. Bruce, you wait a long time for this. This is great. I, I tell you what I felt the best for, for Turgeon. Uh, he wanted this in the worst way, and it was like sometimes it takes a tremendous effort to catch something like this. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I guaranteed this win. Yes, and the you thing, did. I guaranteed it because you can't look, you can't look at the three losses we just had and say the sky is falling. All's well that ends well. It ended well. It ended question. well for Anthony Cowan. It ended well for uh, Sticks. Made that half court shot uh, ish at the end of the first half. They had a tremendous double double again. It ended well for Wiggins and Ayala. Uh, the, just the whole team. It, it came back together after four days off. All right, let's squeeze a big dog in here. Rick, so, you, you handle it. All right. Hey, oh, how can all three get in? We, 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 we sort of make it. All right. Now joining us, the big dog himself. Rick, you had a sideline view for this. What'd you see out there? I saw Wiggins and Ayala stepping up. That, that was, was the, the difference. difference. It, it was totally the that difference. That was the biggest difference. But, but you know, Anthony Cowan, all-time leading uh, foul shots made at Maryland. And Tremendous you know what? job. They finally started to go in deep, Wayne. We they noticed it right away. They went inside and inside and inside. Yeah, they might have put it away with the threes, but they established the lead and the toughness right. by out-rebounding, by getting the ball inside. Right. They shot, I don't know what they shot, but 56%. 56%. In your biggest game of the year, right. it doesn't get any better than that. It does. Hats off detergent. And with absolutely, all of them, with and, and you said the key word too. It's yeah. toughness. They really showed their toughness today. And with all of that, that Michigan threw at him, Michigan was not going to go away easily. Every time Michigan got to seven, I said, "Hold on, I'll be back to 10. And it went to seven to ten, and they, Michigan never had the ball with a seven. They got it down to three. One time they got a One seven, time right. and the Terps pushed it back right. to ten. Right, it, it was great. And uh, So this is what it takes to win in this league. Look I want at you everything to get, that had to go right to win in this league. I'm going to get out of here. i got to get back to Baltimore, but I want to say one thing. Rick, you've helped us so much. We thank you so much for your support. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will tell you this much. You're easy to support. Everybody mm -hmm. says to me, who's this big dog that we see? <laughs> right. All right. Let Ma Mason, Mason, get in there with Mason, Rick and jump in here, baby. Get in there, baby. How you yeah. doing? Fresh off of ESPN appearances, uh, uh, thanks for joining us back on our little show here on the court at Xfinity Center. We'll be back with Mason and Rick, and I'm Wayne. We'll be back as Maryland celebrates their Big Ten Championship in a moment. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackledge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Final score! Back on the floor at Xfinity Center, Mason Viner, I'm Wayne Viner, we're waiting for the Coach Turgeon press conference. Mason, you came in to see a big game and a win in March, you finally got one. Yeah, and I think it's been a long time coming. Uh, everyone, well, wow, for a long time, because if you remember the last time they won the championship, uh, they had a port storming, so they weren't even able to cut down the nets, but it's been years since a Maryland men's basketball team has actually cut the nets down. It has been. The last time I remember would be 2004, Maryland wins the ACC championship, and that was a finally. Uh, Turgeon said, uh, as he uh, addressed the crowd, he finally got that gorilla off his back, and I agree, he did. A March win. Uh, you've been talking about this on the Young Terps. Could they rebound? What did you see that got Maryland back into their running mode to get 83 points on the board? You know, if you look at the past two, three, you can even go back four games to Minnesota, You've seen the same game. The, the game that they've won and the games that they've lost have been very, very similar. It's 
the difference between shooting, you know, what was it, six for 30 from three against Rutgers to today where they were much improved. They played against a team in Michigan that shot the ball, you know, before the end of the game where it's garbage time, around 54 to 59 percent, and they were making Michigan at one time 90 percent from the free throw line, and Maryland just had it going today. The ball was going in the basket. They looked like they were in rhythm. They had multiple shots, you know, turnaround jump shots from Ayala and Wiggins that you would expect to see from guys that at one point were projected to be NBA draft picks. When they shoot the ball like that, they're a hard team to beat. It's a lot like Creighton, which was talked about yesterday. They had three players shoot above 50% from three yesterday. Maryland's a similar thing. When those guys, when those shots are going in the basket, they're going to win. And they did. They did. I really feel, and though this is supposed to be somewhat biased, we finally won something on a basketball court. It's been a long time. You made reference on the podcast a few weeks ago when you had Eric Hayes on, how your favorite game was when Gravis and the guys beat Duke in 2010. It's been nine, it's been 10 years. You're back, you got another championship. I guess you're the lucky charm. It only took 10 years. So we will see you from Indianapolis with many podcasts and on-air videos. You can see that on Turp Talk starting Thursday night. Catch us on WNST at 8 a.m. on Monday morning. That's tomorrow. We'll be talking about the Big Ten Championship. And then again on Turp Talk on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. Good afternoon from College Park.